and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're going to learn Eternal Flame by the Bengals. So first I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note with tabs right here as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so full disclosure, this arrangement is largely based on an arrangement made by one of my Fingerstyle Arrangement Academy students, Bill, and Bill was kind enough to donate it to Lick and Riff, so I made a couple of tweaks to it, but this is about 95% Bill's arrangement. So this was so beautiful that I had to ask him if I could use it and teach it to the world, and he agreed. So thank you so much, Bill. All right, so you start with G, okay, just a normal G chord, and you just arpeggiate it. And then you add one on the second string to get G sus4. Okay, any way you want to play it. You can just do a straight arpeggio, or you can play the three on the first string and then the second string, okay, the change between the B note and the C note, okay? Any way you want, just experiment with different ways to play this G, G sus arpeggio sequence, okay? Then you're still on G and you start the verse, you play the G bass and then you have zero one on the second string. And then you have E minor with three on the second string, okay? And then you're still playing three on the second string with C. So you put on C and you play the chord, okay? Three on the second string comes twice. And then the open E string. And then you have three on the second string again, but inside a D chord this time, okay? And then I play, okay? Hammer on to two on the third string and then the open second string. And you're back to G. So, E minor, C, D, back to G. And then 0, 3 on the second string. And then E minor with 3 on the first string. Three times. And then C again with 3, 0 on the first string. And then you have this. Okay? 
it's the open first and fourth strings, okay? And then three on the second. And then again, the hammer on to two on the third, and then the open second string, and then the G bass again. Okay, so it's. Okay? And then you have three, three on the first string, and then B7 with two on the first string, and you slide up to seven on the first string, and then you play it. Okay, and you play strings six, three, two, one. This is E minor. And then you have this. Okay, it's A7, A7, A with the open third string, and then two, three, zero on the first, and then D with five on the first string. So it's five, three, two, and the D string. B minor, okay? For the next note, it's B minor. The second string is your top note. Okay, and then you have the first ending, uh, and then you repeat the verse and you play the second ending. So before we do that, I want to remind you that there's a guitar giveaway going on, a guitar giveaway to a new member of my course program. I have 12 courses. A new one just came out called Theory Unlocked. Okay, and I have 11 more courses waiting for you already in the course program. Okay, ear training, arrangement training, Travis picking, finger style toolbox, um, fretboard vision, hey, any, anything advanced that you want to learn, all the advanced skills are there. And I'm releasing a new course every single month. A new course will be added to the course program and members will automatically get access. Okay, so you get instant access to my course program once you enroll in the course program and there's also a guitar giveaway. An acoustic guitar giveaway, at the end of this summer, one new member is gonna win a Journey Instruments Puddle Jumper. So go to lickandref.com slash courses and join the course program. Now the first ending, is this okay we had and then it's this okay it's three 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 on the second string you can harmonize with the third okay the first two notes are with the a bass and the next two notes are with the c bass so you can put on the c chord so you can say that this is A minor 7, or you can say that it's A minor 7 to C, or C6 to C, okay? It's basically the same harmony with a bass move. And then you play this again, okay, with C, and then 3 on the first rank, and then D with 2 and 3 on the first, and then you have 3 on the second string, and you go back to G, okay? You go back to the beginning. So it's... Okay? The second ending, okay, after you get the A7 to B minor, okay? Okay, B minor. Now you do this. Okay? It's the same line twice. This is the second ending. So it's bar on five. Okay? One, two, three. Strings one, two, three. Five, five, five. Okay? A minor. And you play it with the A bass. And you have eight, seven, five on the first string. And then it's eight and seven on strings two and three. And you do it twice. And the chorus begins with D. So it's five, seven, seven on strings one, two, and three with the D bass, with the D string. And immediately you play this chord twice more. And then you play D minor, okay? Five, six, and seven instead of five, seven, seven. So it's, okay, it's say my name. 
Okay, it goes from D to D minor. And then you have G. Okay, three, 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 two on the first rank. Okay, and then you have D with Okay, three pull off to zero on the first string and three on the second. Okay, so it's just G to D. Okay, so make sure you play the two, okay, with your second finger. So it's easy and quick to put on the D chord. Okay, and then you have three on the second string open first. And then you have F. Okay? It's a scale change. Okay, so it's and then okay, it's a slide to five on the first string, and then you have G with three on the first and three on the second. Okay, so put on the full G chord. Okay, so it's F and then you have this. Okay, it's a bass move leading you to F sharp. So um, you're back to the original scale, okay? The F was a detour, it was an outside note. So you play C, okay? Three on the fifth string with zero one on the first. And then you have the open E string again with B, two on the fifth string, and then you play three on the second string. And then you have three one on the second string with A. Okay, you can pull it off, you can slide, you can just play the notes, and then the G bass, okay? Three on the bass, on the, on the sixth rank. Okay, so you have, okay, down to F sharp, which is the next note. Two on the sixth rank with your thumb, because you're gonna play D. So, um, once again, C, B, A, Okay, it's A minor, A minor over G, and then you have D over F sharp. So you play two on the bass, okay, and you play the D chord twice, strings two and three, and then you use your finger on um, B, okay? You still have D, but now you add a finger on B, on two on the fifth string. So now it's B minor seven. Okay, so practice this move. Okay, and then you have zero, two on the first, three on the second. And then you have this. Okay, it's F again, but I turned it into an F6. Okay, so it's F6 over G. It's a bar on three with five and five on strings one and three. Okay, and you play strings one, two, three, and six. So you get five, three, five, six, uh, five, three, five, three, okay? And then C with three on the first string. And then you have D sus two. And, okay, and you start the song again. Okay, so that was the course and that was your lesson. So go check out the new course platform, the new course program, lickandref.com slash courses. And I will see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Thank you so much, Bill. And uh, you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? There are over 600 free lessons on this channel. Bye for now. Have fun.